it started with my father um, who landed in this country as a 19 year old. He landed in London, jumped on a bus, he landed in Stoke-on-Trent and through the pottery industry um, having some very influential hockey um, people um, like Churchill Potteries and, and Wedgwood and uh, Royal Dalton. So that was the start, that was the first you know, Staffordshire introduction if you like. I went on to represent not just Staffordshire but the Midlands and then, then the national team and that's how it was in, in those days. It was county, then divisional and then international. So had I not made that county, I don't think I'd be standing here talking to you today. I'm often reminded from sort of uh, videos and DVDs about often the goals I scored. Lots of British people supporting the British team. Got up very early to watch us uh, and obviously they remember the fact that in that final I scored two, Sean scored one. Um, and so um, whether lucky or unlucky, you know, my name seems to crop up quite often for that. But it was a squad performance. Suddenly these hockey players, these humble hockey players were thrown into, um, you know, a different world really. Can you imagine, you know, getting back to, uh, to Heathrow Airport in front of thousands of people that had, you know, just turned out to welcome us back. It was quite surreal and we were not to know about that. We suddenly walked in and there was, you know, crowds of people just cheering. So, and TV cameras waiting to go on to breakfast TV and it, it really was quite surreal. <laughs> 